been there. And I always wanted to, to be a dog trainer or a horse trainer. I guess I was just born with that. It's heredity. Horses and, and dogs and cattle and animals. My granddad did it. His brother did it on my mom's side. Yeah, Bill. Dad, Ronnie, Ronnie Jr., uh, Rick, myself. Pretty much the first things I remember when I was growing up was with the dogs and horses and outside. We went to Canada during the summer for training dogs. We just always had dogs. My family uh, originated from Big Cabin. My father and my uncle Delmer obviously were brothers and um, started training dogs uh, back in the 50s. When I started realizing there's something special going on was in 1955 was when uh, dad came home from a trial. Uh, he had just won his, uh, a national championship. And then from there on, uh, he won four other championships and I think in about, about eight or nine years. I got to know most all of the original oil men and a lot of the presidents have, have uh, hunted over our dogs. like to have them have a good uh, bite and that head to sit in there on about a 45 degree angle. It's a touch. It's, it's, a, it's an art, basically, I think it is. You can see when the light comes on for that first year dog and they start to put it together and there's, there's an excitement that's in his gait that you, you don't see any other time in his life. Dogs are magnificent animals and they, uh, they have a passion for hunting, a passion that we probably can't can't even understand. I mean, watching a top dog cover the ground, go to exactly the right places on his own initiative, and watching him point, be steady to wing and shot, and watching the birds fly off. You know, people ask me, well, do you hunt? I said, no, I don't hunt. I love going, I love taking the people, and love being around the people, but uh, yeah, yeah, the dog is the most important thing, I think. A lot of people ask me, what's my favorite dog? I don't have a favorite dog, just like I don't have a favorite son. I love them all. If you're a friend, uh, they, they want to work with you. They want to learn. And they enjoy learning if you present everything in the right way. And this is, of course, one of the things that uh, Delmar has done. He's shown these dogs how to do things and make it a fun thing and taught people how to do it. You know, I think what, what makes my uncle special is that he, he was ahead of his time in that um, the dog's mind is, is the primary focus. Every time Delmer comes in the kennel, you know you're gonna learn something new. Here's Sam. Atta boy. He has a great attitude. He has a love and a passion for life and a love and a passion for animals and people. I think he's a born teacher. He has the ability to show you, explain to you, make sense of something you have never even considered before. So I want him to, when I take and pick up that leg, he'll let me have it and not try to take it back. I think this award means more to him than anything he's ever won. And he's got a lot of plaques. He's won five national championships in, in uh, uh, field trials. I think it means a lot. He, he's, uh, you know, won uh, Burn Dog Hall of Fame and, and, uh, and numerous awards and everything. And, and uh, I'd say this is, is one of his top awards that he has gotten. He called me to tell me about it. And he was excited as a school kid at, at lunchtime. He, he, really, he really got a great boost out of it. And, what a wonderful tribute, and, and he understood that. It's a great tribute to somebody that spent a lifetime doing what he's done. I always like to say, less than your best is failure. So anything you do, you always do your best. That's why you can make a winner out of anybody. They go out there and you get them to do the best they can do, they're gonna be a winner. Not that they're going out here and maybe win something or anything, but, but they're a winner if they'll do the best that they can do.